Good morning. Miss Morgan. Hi, pretty girl. <clears throat> Hi, baby girl. Morgan. Hi, baby. Precious. You getting kisses a little bit? She gave me a little bit this morning. Little baby kisses. Good morning, everybody. He needs a home that's calm. I think she'd do great with another small dog. I really, really do. She came from a pack um, from the streets of Hialeah. There are still approximately... Sorry, I froze there for a minute. I'm back. Um, as I was saying, hi, baby. Uh, there are still quite a few of these little dogs that are out on the streets uh, living under a container in a very busy area in Hialeah that we will be going out on Tuesday to set traps. There are approximately eight, nine, or ten that are out there that we know of. Um, I'm back. Can you see me? Am I clear? Good morning, Debbie. She's the sweetest little angel. Um, she's very scared as she should be. This is very unusual for her to be in somebody's arms and wearing a shirt, um, having nothing but beds and toys and blankets and unlimited fresh food and water, air conditioning and shelter. Thank you, Cindy. Um, you know, she was, like I said, there's a, uh, it's all over social media. There's a, a large group of small dogs. Um, there were large as well, I was told, and the large ones were picked up by animal control um, taken to the kill shelter. <clears throat> uh, we did reach out to Miami-Dade Animal Services shelter uh, yesterday. We sent an email letting them know that we are trying to bring these dogs, this group, into safety with our organization and we are committed and willing to take as many that are out there that we can find. Um, <clears throat> the last thing that we want, of course, is for them to remain on the streets, to get hit by a car, reproduce, um, and just to live that horrible life of, of being outside and under a dirty container for shelter, um, you know, hungry, waiting for somebody to put on a, a tray of food. Uh, you can see her paws are, you know, a little bit raw, um, just from the conditions of being outside her hair. Um, all her blood work came back perfect. I just got a text from Dr. Peterson letting me know all her blood work is perfect. A little bit of a, a little, tiny, tiny bit of a high elevated white cell, which is very common due to the skin, just from being outside, nothing at all to worry about. Um, she will be vaccinated. Um, she did receive a bath yesterday. She had her ears clean. She was dewormed and microchipped, um, and she was given a cap star because she was crawling with fleas. So um, as I was saying, uh, this is an area in Hialeah. There are a, a good amount of these little dogs that are out there. They're all different breeds. Um, they're all hairless, missing hair due to um, enduring the, the conditions of the elements of outdoors, um, just neglect, poor nutrition, um, just trying to survive out there. Um, so again, you know, this is Morgan and, um, we brought her into safety yesterday. Carol and Gracie were out there, uh, with the assistance of two of our, uh, rescue, um, friends from social media, Janet and, um, Maria, is it Carol? Maria and Janet. Maria and Janet. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, we were able to save this one precious little life. She's off the streets. And uh, we're committed, like I said, to get the rest on Tuesday. Uh, we would go sooner, but unfortunately, due to the holiday, uh, the business where the dogs are going in and out of the um, gated area is closed. Um, the owner of the business does have our contact information, our cell phone, so that we told him day or night, if you're able to get any to safety, to please reach out to us. Um, <clears throat> Miami-Dade Animal Services Animal Control Kill Shelter has also set up traps in the same exact area. Um, we were told that they caught, is it two that we were told they caught? I think they caught two. I believe they caught two. Um, we reached out. We told them if they catch any that we are willing to take them. 
I can't even wrap my mind or imagine this terrified little angel in front of us who is 10 pounds um, bring, brought into the kill shelter, which is very, very stressful, not only on dogs, but humans. I know when we go there, Carol has to wait outside. Um, <clears throat> she can't handle it. Um, and when we go in there, our stomachs are in knots and we want to throw up. That's how bad it is. To walk in there, to save a life, two lives, three lives, and leave two, three hundred behind is so heartbreaking. Um, when they look in your eye, they're shaking, they're quivering. Um, if they show any fear, um, and they are, uh, you know, fear base, um, they can label these dogs, which we've seen time and time again, aggressive, um, should be euthanized. We've pulled so many dogs from the shelter that are labeled uh, fearful, aggressive behavior that were on the kill list, and we pulled, and they were nothing but love and licking our faces off, just like um, little Morgan here with Carol. Um, so please, I'm asking all of you for your love and your support, your prayers, because we will be heading back out Tuesday morning with our entire crew, um, and we will be bringing a trap, and uh, we're praying to God that we're successful and able to catch as many, if not all, the dogs that are out there. If we, um, for any reason, cannot, uh, whatever we do bring in, we will continue to go back and back until we bring them all into safety. Um, we are committed. So <clears throat> this is uh, the dogs from Hialeah. And uh, the backstory of these dogs, from what I was told from several people, and it was on the news, it's uh, Tent City. Um, what it was where there were homeless people that put up tents in this area. They lived there. They were homeless. Uh, that's their home. That was their home. That was their shelter. They had dogs. Um, when they were forced by the city to move out, remove their tents, uh, found to find someplace else to go, that left all these dogs behind. Um, all these dogs not spayed, not neutered, reproducing, um, and that's what we're dealing with with this situation. Um, so that's our little update on Morgan. And she's wearing her little Santa baby shirt because that's mm -hmm. all that we had to fit her. Uh, she took her little princess shirt. I don't Oh, here it is. Here it is. It must have fallen off of her. She might have taken it off um, herself. Um, so I just wanted to give you all an update um, from yesterday on Morgan. That's what we named her. Uh, Carol and I are uh, getting ready to go to the Boca Mall. We have an adoption event at the Aveda store in the Boca Town Center Mall. Um, we, it starts at 12, and we'll be there till 3. Um, it's only a few small dogs that we're bringing, probably about 5 or 6, to this event. Um, and then our crew will be here uh, walking our other dogs. So, um, yeah, that's what we have going on. I think that uh, while Carol's in here snuggling with uh, little Morgan, I'm going to take you for just a little walk around the hospital. You hear squeaking in this room because, let me see if I can... Who's in here? Hi. Hi, Marina. We've got Marina and Johnny in there. Hi, Johnny. Marina. Johnny just took Marina for a nice walk. Pam's here getting everything set up for the dogs that are going to the adoption event and walking them this morning. Um, the Parvo puppies guys are still very sick and fighting. Um, very sick and fighting. Hi. How are you, Mama? Okay. This is a trick because I've done this before. There we go. Don't you even think about it, little munchkins. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Hey, good morning, Godiva. Hi, sweetheart. Hello, I hear your belly growling. You need to poopy, maybe? Hi, puppies. And here we have our beautiful mummy Godiva that we rescued a couple weeks ago with her 10 puppies. Uh, we received a call from police officer Miami, Leah Stuber, um, and asked if we could come out and help because this mommy and her babies, she gave birth under a, um, a shed in Miami and uh, our crew went out immediately and we were very successful, thank God. And we rescued all of her 10 babies uh, and mommy Godiva. And what are you doing in that little corner over there? Huh? I hear the suckling. Are, my, are you yawning? Good morning. Good morning. 
Good morning, guys. Hi. Hello. Hello. Some of you are full and some of you are still hungry. Hi, are you still hungry? Mommy is getting fed, oh God. Oh, like unlimited dry food over here. So her puppies are, it's on a raised bowl with fresh water, um, unlimited. And she's also getting three to four cans of wet food a day. As you can see, she's been dewormed twice. Um, she's healthy, she's hot worm negative. She's probably one of the sweetest, most loving, wonderful mommies that we've ever rescued. Um, she's very, she's thin, and that's normal when the puppies are constantly sucking everything out of her. But I can guarantee you she's, she's seen by her doctor daily uh, to make sure everything is good. Hi. And uh, she's eating great. She's peeing and pooping. She's doing awesome. She's a beautiful, beautiful girl. Look at those eyes. Uh, when the puppies are ready and they're, they're done, look at the fuzzy one right here. It looks like a shepherd. Um, that's Grayson. Hi, good morning. When the puppies are, they just pee wherever they want and poop wherever they want, so it's constant cleaning, constant. Um, as soon as the puppies are done nursing, mommy's done, all the puppies have our foster, Christine and Bob. Um, they have fostered over 250, 260 puppies for us. Good morning, everybody. Um, and uh, they'll go straight to foster, and then we can focus on mommy and get her all fattened up and, and get her socialized and ready to find her forever home. Um, that's just the process, guys. You know, that's the way it goes. Otherwise, these puppies, we never would have survived out there. Could you imagine? Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to get you. <laughs> I'm going to get you, feisty one. Can you stand it? These fuzzy, they look like baby little bear cubs. You're such a good girl. I'm going to take you out in two seconds. Hold on. Stay. Stay, Mama. Stay. Stay, Mama. Stay, Mama. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So we have a little gate here. So that they can't get out. I'm going to get some to take her out in here. This is Albert's room, but Albert is... Oh, I don't see them. They must be on a walk. Um, Albert, this is Albert's room. Albert's with Tiffany, thank God, for the long week. And she's been taking him home every weekend because he really needs her. And she's been doing an updated video. So this is Moses and Judah in here um, through the long weekend. And in here was Disco's room. Um, Disco's still in foster. One day at a time, it's going okay to good. Um, that's where we leave that off. We're not, you know, trying to stay positive. Um, no issues, major issues, but um, we'll see. We should have an answer in the next four or five days. What it's Hi, Apollo. Hi, Apollo. Apollo is our magnificent three to probably four years of age. Um, can I come in and see you? Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Good morning, you. Where's your radio? Oh, it's covered so you don't knock it? Hold on. Let me shut this. Come here. Hi. Here's Apollo. Uh, we rescued Apollo. We were out in Liberty City. And we were on a... Dude, you're wet. You just went for a walk, didn't you? Yes, you did. Did you make a poopy? Did you make a poopy? Can you sit, Apollo? I want you to... Good boy. That's, my... That's your panting because you're just too tired from your walk. Um, Apollo we rescued from Liberty City, Miami. He was used as a guard dog. He was living outside in an encaged area with no shelter, um, no visible food. The locals, homeless people, were throwing him kibble. Uh, you know, dirty, contaminated water. Uh, his skin was horrible. He was filthy, dirty. Uh, and uh, we broke him free. Broke him free. Got him safe. Brought him into safety. Everybody's so in love with this boy. Uh, Paulo, we had him tested with a trainer. Uh, we drew him. <laughs> That's all he wants is a belly rub. We had him tested with a trainer. Uh, Zoe and myself brought him up to Loxahatchee, about an hour drive. And um, he didn't play with another dog free, but he was running the fence and face-to-face. -face. Um, the trainer said he believes that he is definitely dog-friendly, uh, just a submissive dog. It has to be, you know, the right dog, um, just like any meet-and-greet. Um, so we're going to say that if anybody's interested in this magnificent boy, we have to do a meet-and-greet with your dog. Uh, definitely we don't think he's good with cats. So we're going to stay away from the cat thing. 
Um, but he's amazing. Oh, God, this dog is absolutely amazing and perfection. Right, Apollo? You want to come up on the bed with me? Come up here. Look at you. have a new blankie. Come on. Up, up on your futon. Come on. That's a boy. Life is good now, isn't it, Apollo? How good is it? How good is it with that permanent smile? You want more massage? This is all he does. This is it. Uh, Apollo is completely healthy. Thank you, God. He is hot worm negative. We already neutered him. He's vaccinated. He's microchipped now. He's just amazing. Other than um, demanding massages, a uh, little coconut oil on the elbows. Uh, that's pretty much all he requires and definitely is going to be on your lap and just kissing your face off. He's a lap dog. Oh, he loves hugs. He loves walks. He's fantastic. Absolutely in love. In love with this boy. Permanent smile on his face all the time. I love you. I go right in. I kiss his face off. I put my hands in his mouth. I take food from him. I take toys from him. I can do anything I want. He is absolutely magnificent. Magnificent you are. I love that mushy, mushy face. Yes, I do. <laughs> you just headbutt my leg. Did you just headbutt me? Come here, did you drink water? Come on, over here. Ooh, come here, look. Come on, drink some waters. Drink your waters. Apollo, you took your cone off again? You got it as sutures, so he uh, takes this. He's very good at taking this cone off. What are you, Houdini? You think you're Houdini? All right, guys, so Apollo's not coming to the event today because it's small dogs only. But if you are interested in meeting Apollo, just reach out, 877-506-8100. Um, if you're interested in meeting Moses and Judah, bonded pair, if you're interested in Mummy Godiva, when she's ready, you can get acquainted, get to know her. So when she does come available for adoption, um, she would already be feeling comfortable um, with you. And who else? We have um, Morena, the shepherd, beautiful 79, oh, 79 pound, amazing shepherd mix. She's ready to go. And um, to, uh, Carol's in there with our beautiful, beautiful new dog, Morgan. We have a lot of dogs in foster. Um, I'm not going to go off and name the list, but they're all on our website and on our Facebook page. Um, I, I thank you to each and every one of our fosters. I cannot put into words how grateful we are for you uh, so that they don't have to sit here. Um, oh, one other update I wanted to tell all of you was uh, Frankie. Frankie that uh, received that massive surgery yesterday. I'm, I'm focusing on Apollo while I'm talking to you and updating you uh, just because I don't want you to look at a wall. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, Frankie that was found on the streets and had the massive tumor and not neutered, went through that major surgery yesterday. He's doing really, really well. Our amazing, amazing foster, Minda, who has our other dog, Jackie the Shih Tzu, uh, picked Frankie up last night, took him home, and we've been watching videos. There's a major love affair going on in her house. <laughs> He's doing great. He's so sweet. He's just phenomenal. We're just waiting for the pathology report to come back. Um, on Frankie and to see, pray to God, it's not cancer. Um, he's about nine, ten years of age and he is perfection with dogs, with cats, with everybody. So if anybody is interested in giving one of our amazing rescues a loving home, um, we welcome and we'd love to meet you and hear from you. Um, on the other hand, if you cannot adopt, consider fostering maybe. Um, help us empty out these, these rooms, these kennels, because what that does is make room for us to save another life. Um, I'm asking for your continued prayers for the Parvo puppies that are fighting so very hard for their lives, guys. It's killing us. Um, like I said, we already paid for the Parvo puppies $7,000. Our bill is right now $12,000 and, and we'll go up. And uh, we're short. We're short about three thirty-five hundred dollars right now. And that's with the bill staying where it is and not going up. Um, so we need your donations desperately, desperately, desperately uh, to cover it. Um, so I'm going to say goodbye to Apollo from just right now because I have to go get ready, Apollo, to go to the adoption event and try to get some of your friends adopted. 
Okay, buddy. Um, and we have some great news coming up later on this morning. I love you. I'll be back. Uh, see, this is what breaks my heart when I have to leave him. It kills me. It absolutely destroys me. I know, $12,000 is awful. It's, it's just killing us. I love you, Apollo. I can't with this face. I love you. This is what's so hard, guys. Even though we know they're safe. Um, i got to get somebody to take her out. Yeah, she needs to go out. Okay. I'm going to shut down. Hey. Hello. Have you ever taken out... Uh, this is Johnny. Say hey, Johnny. Hello. Have you ever taken Godiva out? Mommy? No, I haven't taken her out. Okay. Her, is Pam in here? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Johnny. Pammy. Yeah. Can you take Godiva down real quick? She's at the door. So she has to poop. Oh, oh, sure. Get mommy. You're still she here? She loves Johnny. She does? Yes, yeah, Johnny came and sat with me. She wasn't shaking at all. And she was loving him, petting him. Really? Mm hmm That's awesome. So she's good with other people. Yeah. He sat in here with me. She stopped shaking. It's good stuff. I just went and ran around and showed everybody all the dogs that are here anyway. There's so many in foster. All right, guys, this is a long video, so I'm going to shut down. i um, just like to bring you along for the journey so we can update you. Um, I'm just looking to see if there's any more comments before hey, I shut guys. down here. Uh, let's see. Say hi, everybody. I'm doing better. Mm -hmm. Carol cannot adopt her. Carol lives with me. I wish I could. This is we Amy. We, just... we have our own dogs and a cat, and we are full. And please understand that this is what we do. We, we fall, fall in, in love, love over and over and over again. We And we ensure that they go to the best homes, right? Yes. And I'll always be a part of her life. Just can't but take she them won't home. fit in in our, you know, our pack. Believe me, it's very hard to let some of these if babies go. If I could, I go. would. If we could, we would. We get very, very, very attached. Right, baby? She's going to go to the best home. That's for sure. What time is it, Carol? Do you know? I have no idea. Do you have your phone on you? It's in the living room. Oh, huh. okay. Jamie Valcourt says, Carol is my hero. I love you, Jamie. You're my hero. <laughs> Jamie, you're my hero. Not just because of the bracelets or your cheeseburgers or your wreaths or your donations. Because we love you and we love your heart. We love all of you. We love every... It's 11 o'clock a.m. Okay, perfect. So we have to be at the event. Thank you so much, Kathy. Uh, we have to be at the event at noon, right? Yes. Okay. And the doggies are the heroes. That's for sure. They're the heroes. You're the hero. Are you a hero, little one? Are you a hero, little Morgie? Hi, Morgan. Hi. Definitely dachshund. No shake. Doxy, doxy, doxy. Where yeah. are my doxy lovers? Yeah. We are my doxy lovers. And she's about a year of age. That's it. She's falling asleep. Her eyes are closing. Oh, is that so precious? So precious. Signing off. This is Amy and Carol 100 plus. Abandoned dogs. Oh, oh. oh, seriously. 100 plus. I might not be moving for a while. Abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.